hey squad hey so i wanted to drop in and give y'all a update it has taken me a while because there has not really been a big development as i told y'all in my last video there was supposed to be a court hearing on february the 15th i was waiting to hear updates for it and then i happened to be watching the news and they were talking about the visual and the details for the funeral and then i caught a glimpse of something so i'm gonna give you what we have found out as well as more rumors and more questions that people have sent me start off with the candlelight visual thank you to everybody that sent me in pictures and videos these pictures and videos are complimentary of maybe people that knew Miss Hoyle or Miss Campbell I'm not exactly sure because they come from my emails but and others come from the local news but I'm going to share them with you As most of you know by now, February the 19th, they had Miss Hoyle's funeral. It was absolutely beautiful from the footage that I seen. The funeral was streamed live via Facebook from the funeral home. I share what the news shared and what I got gathered from TV. So my last video, I asked y'all to comment and give me y'all opinion. So this comment right here. Why would she have to go pay a deposit to her cousin in the middle of the night? Why was he at her house before her? Did she get rid of the baby? How was she paying a deposit on nails but didn't have gas money? So many questions. And this is concerning like I said, the last video and Artessa and her interview with the cousin pastor. Me. Exactly. She know everybody has cash out or Venmo now. When did they start physically requiring you to come pay a deposit in person and not cash out PayPal, Venmo, ETC? And then she claims she was there all evening was that her alibi? The replies. Miss Sherelle. Baby. It says right. Honey. Some of this stuff makes so much sense. That's why I say some of this stuff make more sense than others when it comes to the rumors concerning this case. Because this right here, this kind of stuff makes sense. It says right. He killed Daniela and brung the baby to Artessa and she dumped the baby downtown where she had to go pay the quote deposit explains why the car seat was found at the walmart near her home when she finished all of a sudden brandon already at her crib he said he tossed the baby to cover up for her ass which explains why he pleaded not guilty because he finna snitch on her ass during trial while she was doing all of that he was at walgreens getting her some candy in a car <laughs> baby <laughs> talking about I want to see you eat snacks one last time child but that those are the kind of comments that make sense baby shined a whole new light on it for me because I didn't think about it like that 
girl these these comments is good girl she proclaimed she didn't have any money on her card oh <laughs> Phew. i didn't think about that girl baby why did it make so much sense to me like i didn't even think about it from that perspective that's the reason we have these threads it's just so people can basically verbally think out loud i guess you could say honey they i'm go back to that video and look under the comments i'm a, i pinned it so you can comment on it too something else i want to point out in the comments is like i when this first happened back the first week of february i heard people saying that zaria didn't like daniela and even in artessa's interview she was trying to basically say um zaria was went to see daniela and she the one try, was really trying to talk her into an abortion too or something like that it's basically like how she was talking. She was trying to implicate her. Go back and look at my video. If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to have to leave a link up here. I'm going to leave a link in the, in the description. A link in the comments. Wherever. Go look at it. And I'm also going to post this video at the end of that video. So once you watch that video, you can go on and go into this video. Because if you watch this one first, you're just going to be behind. So you're going to have to go back and watch that video. So anyway... Michelle Jackson is what got me, baby. Miss Michelle Jackson says, when I tell you she she, she, she was hitting them at the park for me, she said, because I had mentioned in my video, should we be having an eye on Zaria too? Because people was telling me that she didn't care for Danielle, but come to find out, this is what Miss Jackson said, baby. Miss <laughs> Jackson, if you're nasty, because baby, I'm here for it. She shined some light on some stuff for me because I had heard somebody else say this too. But now this was my icing on the cake. Okay. It says, all things nail. Danielle and Brandon's wife were cool with each other. The wife said Danielle would check on her son, but Artessa would not. And she also stated Artessa does not like her. Mic drop. <laughs> Miss Michelle. Thank you for clearing that up for me because I had heard and I'm hearing stuff from people that like know them more personally. In my opinion, I feel like from around the way I have you want to say it, but thank you for clearing it up for me. Cause like I was hearing that at the beginning and I'm like, well, oh, we might better look at her, but we got Zaria is in the clear, baby. She gone on about her business. God bless her. Lord, she, if I am implicated her in any way and was curious about her anyway, I'm sorry. Everything has been corrected and cleared up. We got our facts straight on that. So, so that made me reply. Wait, 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 wait. That means Artessa lied in her video, in her interview too. Because in that interview, if you watch my last video, she basically said that she she put it to us like they didn't get along. Like, she didn't care for Daniela either. Like, because she went to us, want her to have an abortion and what have you. And she was mad at her because she said, you know, she told us that Daniela had said that her son couldn't be, be around Daniela baby. If Daniela and them got along, why would Daniela say that? Questions. We got questions. Because why would why why if they was cool and she was Daniela was calling to check on her son, then why would Artessa say that Zaria had told Brandon her son couldn't be around Daniela's baby? You know that sounds sketchy to me in another video, but now it just sound like a whole, a whole lot, a whole lot of, <laughs> another lie sound like to me. So Miss Jackson tells me, she said, yes, our test of lie. She also tried to make it look like the wife didn't want Daniela to have the baby, but that is not true either. Daniela and the wife are friends on Facebook. They are not enemies at all. 
Wow. That floored me. So, I don't feel like it's one of them situations where you know how people say, you know, you keep your enemies closer. It, I don't feel like that. If that was the case, then our test and Zarya would been would would have been closer, right? <laughs> so let's go on with the rest of these rumors. The next question is, where is our Tessa? Did she leave Facebook? No, she did not leave Facebook. She is still on Facebook. She just changed her name. They have shared. A lot of people have shared her new name. I'm not sharing it here. Simply because people go to people's Facebook and say ugly things. And since she does have a small child that needs to be protected. And also an innocent mother. I'm not going to share that information. Because those two are innocent. Don't have anything to do with it. And I'm not going to share some information that could possibly get them harmed and somebody be going over to and sending you know ugly messages because people say ugly things on social media they leave ugly messages threaten people i'm not going to contribute to that if y'all find her on your own then you find her i'm just not gonna help you do that part but as far as i know her her anything concerning the case i have not heard or seen or no one has shared with me anything that she has said concerning the situation and if she does say anything trust and believe my email will be lit quick and in a, in a hurry and that's another reason that takes me a minute to make these videos because i have to read through emails and a lot of them are repetitive things everybody's mind is basically feeling the same way so a lot of them are repetitive and just right when I'm I think I'm ready to record then another one comes in then another one comes in and another one comes in because I guess each each day somebody sees my last email or some people are just not kind of like finding out about it maybe I'm not sure but and then people talk every day and discuss it every day too so I'm assuming that his attorney is working on building a case for him. We are still waiting for this case because this is where we're going to find out a book of our information about what we really want to know. Like, why he did it. Was there an accessory to the fact? Was there any, you know, a conference, all this information is what we want to know. And I still, everybody is still wanting to know, wanting to know the same questions. Is the baby alive? People keep debating, is the baby alive? You know, like in my first video or when this first happened, people were like, the baby is probably alive. They probably sold the baby. Um, those kind of things. You know, I don't know. Like, literally, things we need to pay attention to was an empty car seat. When do you not use a car seat? There's going to only be two reasons they left the car seat either the baby was already deceased so they didn't need a car seat or either another car seat was set up and, and prepared awaiting the baby he has already confirmed that the baby is deceased so at this point i don't think the baby is alive reason being at this point whoever has the baby like the like you couldn't have the baby right now it would be too I don't know if you could hide the baby until, I mean, babies change daily when they're first born, but I don't think the baby can change that much not to be recognizable relatively soon. The court case is so popular that even when the child becomes of age that it would figure out its identity too fast, so therefore I really seriously don't think the baby is alive and I know people think that the baby is to think the baby has either been sold or given to somebody most people think the baby has been given to somebody in and, and um being kept till it gets older or whatever and nobody will recognize the baby I and that's just so far-fetched 
to me. Another rumor that people was talking about was saying that um, Daniela threatened Brandon by saying either you come to the hospital or I'm going to turn you into the police and tell them that you killed other people. Whoop de woo. Another reason I don't believe that because if she threatened him to get him to the hospital and that's why he killed her, then he's not going to immediately tell the police I did it because that defeats the whole purpose of him killing her because then he's still guilty. So that really like doesn't make sense. So I keep hearing that. No, it uh, it's just it doesn't make sense. And back to the question again, like where's her phone? Where's her phone records? Is any of this being provided? Has anybody got any of this? These are other questions that people have been talking about and asking. I don't know the answer to this. I've not heard the news media talk about it. And we won't hear it talk about because this is stuff that needs to be used in court. So we're just going to have to wait and see. We still hope the court case is live. We don't know if it will be. They hit this last little court date trying to extend it they're probably going to hide everything else so there you go just letting y'all know giving y'all a heads up out of the gate it's like why is this being kept on the hush i don't know anyway we just know his attorney is trying to build a case we don't know it's a preliminary case what do you do in a preliminary case you produce evidence um the person has rights and uh, all of that kind of stuff and she's already said she wants to get the statements that's read and go through all of that so I'm assuming she's requesting more time to go through things to go through evidence and to work on the case it's why it keeps being drawn out so we're just going to wait down to March 17th to see what is said and what we hear concerning this case that's where we are right now so sorry I don't have much to give you we just waiting to see how they gonna try to get him. They cannot get him out of these charges. The only thing she can do is either in my opinion they can't lessen the charges. You either are going to only way he can get out of it is say somebody else did it at this point. Other than that, these are the charges. I mean, he, he admitted to them. There's no... Unless he can give proof that somebody else did it. They're wasting time. I don't know what else to say. And as far as... Uh, something else I wanted to mention when they were talking about him her threatening him to say he um had killed two other people that's not you can't do that he you ha he would have to have a history of he of fighting and harming other people for y'all to even come up with that conclusion or with that hearsay there's no record of him fighting or being a violent person that we know of it definitely wasn't in the police records and if there's nobody to come, there's not people saying, not even on social media, saying he's this kind of person. I told y'all that in my first video. There's no, um, I don't know if that made the edits in my first video, but I had said it. And I don't know if I edited it out or not. I, that was two or three weeks ago. But there is no history of him being valid, fighting other people being in those type of situations hurting other people being a bad person in any way shape or form at all not even when this happened people normally when something like this happened people will come forward and be like oh we should have suspected that we should have we we should have known this was coming because he did this, this 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 there's none of that none so that's a, and I'm not defending him. I'm just telling y'all the truth. I told y'all I was gonna be honest with y'all here, and I'm just telling y'all the truth. And I'm telling y'all this because we're talking about rumors now, and for these rumors to have a leg to stand on, in order 
for it to be used against him or to use used as a motive. It has to have something. To, there's You just can't say that without nothing to back it up. You don't even have no history because that's what they're going to look at. There's no history. There's no nothing. So that doesn't even make sense. And the only way that would even work is if you had her phone records and she outright texted and said that and he replied back, don't do that to me or something like that. And I seriously... At this point, don't know if they will ever have those records. Because, again, where's her phone? We don't. Uh, and we know, again, one of his charges was tampering with evidence. I don't know what evidence was tampered with. Do you? I don't. I, does anybody? I don't. I still haven't heard anybody say her phone is missing. I didn't even have even heard her mama say, uh, where's her phone? Her phone is missing, blah, blah, blah. Because... Her, she would have pictures of the baby in her phone. They would want the phone. They She just had a new baby. It would be all her pictures in there. All her members. Pictures of her and her both of her daughters would be in there. Nobody has mentioned it. So either they have been told by attorney not to mention it or surely nobody. It, it can't be a situation where nobody thought of it. So I, okay. So so in my last video, we seen a few pictures. I think I had them in that video. I can't remember. Uh, uh, Brandon and Isabel in some navy blue scrubs. And it was all over the news and everything. So when they were showing parts of the funeral, they showed him. And he had on some different color scrubs. So I'm like, okay, so he did go to court. And they just really wasn't talking about it. So then that led me to dig for more information. Oh basically he appeared in court just to get another extension on his trial date so now so we all know what he's been charged charged with if you don't know here are the charges I will list them for you another question that people are asking is where is Brandon Isabel being held according to the color of his scrubs the security that escorted him to his trial that the news media observed he has been held at the county correctional facility is what they said so so basically in protective custody rumor is he being held the same way place like those on trial for the young Dolph murder now they've moved the trial date down to March 17th. I wonder if he just had to keep making an appearance each month for court. I don't know, but we'll be here to see. How he looks at Miss Campbell, Daniela's mama, I feel like it's something he want to say. He looked at her the same way at the first hearing, too. It's just like it just cold, a blank stare. Why are you staring at me? Why are you not telling me what my babies are? Why are you not telling me I'm sorry? I mean, something, you know, something. You can't be that cold-blooded. I want to know what he's thinking. Like, what does he want to say to her? Because it's something. Me over here yelling, just tell her where the baby is already. 